Welcome back, everyone. Here to make us the perfect dish for spring. It's a mouth-watering lamb cooked two ways, by the way, with charred eggplant and mint chimichurri. Welcome back, the executive chef of Phoenix's Sanctuary on Camelback Mountain, our very good friend, Bo McMillan. Hey, hey. Debbie, thanks so much for having me back. Thank you. And you look great, by the way. I feel great. I'm you cooking lamb. Amazing. What's there not to love? <laughs> Cam, Maria, it's and smell. Elzir at the counter. 18. Ooh, 18. Listen, 18. Armenians, 18. Italians, Canadians. Uh, oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. Lamb. We love I lamb. We're in. Came on the right day. And yeah. I feel Woo. that more people should appreciate the delicious deliciousness of lamb this and you're going to help us great. do that today. I'm a hundred percent with you. We're going to do it two ways. It's going to be a little unique but easy. That's okay. the way I like to do things. Like Anything it. I should do here you should be able to do at home. Oh, like All right. We're celebrating lamb. It's spring right? You think Easter you think yeah. about this great dish. So we're going to start off with a quick little braise. I have a lamb shoulder. Okay. It's going to go in the pot with some beautiful aromatics like and some vegetables like a mirepoix, carrots, celery, onions. So we already braised that mm -hmm. lamb. We took it out and in the same pot we put the mirepoix. Well oh, what wow. I did is I seared the lamb. Salt yeah. and pepper and then it goes into a pot and now we're going to cover it with a braising liquid. So I just added okay. some fresh wow. thyme, a little Seared bit of garlic. Right? Okay. I've got some tomato paste. I'm going to grab a spoon. Okay. This is the acid and it also helps break it down, right? All right. Wow. So same thing with white wine, a little splash like this. Okay. And then you want to add, I add chicken stock and lamb because lamb sometimes people don't like so much of the strong gaminess. Right. So a little chicken stock can help that out. Whenever you braise, whenever you braise, two thirds of the liquid all the way up. Now, originally, hmm. you can keep this on the stove at a simmer, cook it for about an hour and a half, it'll be super tender, but I like to throw it in the oven. Mm. For how long? About an hour and a half, under 300 degrees. Slow wow. and low is the way to go on the braise. Low and check it out. Low is the way to go. I got my little swap out right here. It should okay. be money in the bank. This is amazing. Man. And you know yes. what, Bo? Oh my you know, yes. when you say, you know, if they don't like the gaminess, the truth is, wild lamb is gamey. Is gamey. Yes. The, the lamb that you're getting at the market, at the butcher these days, is not the lamb that you think that someone's literally gone out and. 100%. Yeah. Domestic lamb rack is the best lamb in the world, and it's really one of the greatest proteins. Maybe a little grassy, but right. tastes like a steak. And also yeah. lean. Yes. So I've seared this. Mm. Okay. Oh, salt, okay. So here's pepper, our rack of lamb thyme. now. This is our rack of lamb. Salt, pepper, thyme, a little olive oil. Hard sear on each side. In the oven. Depending on how you like it cooked, you can go about eight minutes to 12 minutes. You rest it, and it's going to be either pink or beautiful. I heard a rumor because Greek, right. and I know mm -hmm. I love the flavor of lamb more cooked well. Yeah. If you want it tender, cook it mid rare. But this is this is going to be right on the money. Let it rest, and it'll be right. cooked perfectly. Because right. the longer right. you cook it, the more the flavor will come out. That's 100. Oh. Right. Right. 100. You I would get never better flavor. So, so if now, you like lamb me. like me, you want it cooked well. Yeah. Now we're going to make a sauce. This sauce and, and this whole dish, what I love about it is the Moroccan-style flavors that we have in here. Okay. We have a spice blend called Raza Hanout. You're gonna Say that again? Raza Hanout. And it's what a Moroccan that spice. It, it, and basically, it really means top of the shelves in the spice markets. Oh. It was the vendor's very top shelf spices. It's got cumin, clove, cinnamon. It's phenomenal. Oh, wow. okay. And you're going to wow. add that in to the sauce with a little bit of honey. Right. I've already got shallots, olives, and vinegar in here, nice. okay? So here's the key. I also have one of my favorite ingredients. This is harissa. This is oh, a nice. Tunisian like pepper paste. Spicy. Yeah, go a little. Here's a trick with cooking, obviously. You can always add more, yeah. but you can't add less, right? Correct. Salt and pepper, boom, right in here nice. like this. How long did you have the shallots and olives going before you added everything? Just else? sweat them down. Get them translucent, get them soft, five minutes, medium heat. Okay. Some stems. You and you said you put sherry vinegar in? I did. Yep. Okay. Sherry vinegar. You get that acid. Now, the beautiful mm -hmm. stew that you made becomes your sauce. Look at that lamb jus. Oh. It's amazing. Oh. Right? And it smells great already. It's been cooking Ooh. with the meat, big meat oh flavor. Oh, my God. I'm now going to cook this down, fill it up to the top, cook it down for about 35, 40 minutes until I get this and there beautiful it is. lamb jus. Wow. All right? So I'm going to put that over here. Let's okay. talk about the nope. other condiments. You made a beautiful chimichurri. I did. A little different. Chimichurri, Argentinian-style uh, little uh, condiment that goes great with beef. But it also works with lamb. I did this with pistachio, mint, vinegar, parsley, a little bit of garlic, lamb, money in the bank. Oh and an God. eggplant puree, which also my pairs fame. so great. Uh, People man. do not eat eggplant enough in their life. I and agree. I'm telling you, if you follow this recipe, I'm going to wow. change your life right here on Home it's and Family. It's so easy. Char that eggplant. Get it up like a balloon. Let it sink down. Take the whole skin that's charred, throw it in the Robocoop or the, the home blender with garlic, garlic puree, a little olive oil, lemon juice, and cumin, and you got this beautiful, it is rich so good. puree. Can I ask, how do you char it? Do you char it in the oven? You do it on the right on the grill. Yeah. On the grill. Yeah. Okay. Yep, right on the grill outside. 
Yep. If you got a wood grill, you could grill, do it in the oven, though. You could do it wherever yeah. you want. I'm Put not gonna some, tell. Put in some I'm aluminum foil. <laughs> throw it in the oven. Yeah. You could do that. All right. So look, I mean, we got this little puree down. So we're gonna plate both of these. The lamb both ways I is think going we're on do this it. plate. I, I think we're gonna do it. I'm trying to keep up with all the awesomeness yep. that's yep. happening in the kitchen right now. This is really unbelievable. Yeah. It's so amazing. Telling you. Just watching you move around is amazing. It's fine. Tell me about the black cabbage. I'm gonna tell you about black cabbage. Here's the thing. This is a cavallo nero, a Tuscan cabbage, but it's got so many nutrients in it and so good for your body. So of course, I added my other favorite veg vegetable, smoked bacon, into oh, that right. cabbage the with a little vegetable. olive oil, a little lemon juice, <laughs> and you're just gonna kind of plate it up right here, right? <laughs> so now it's time. Let's get a little of this beautiful broth down, like this. There you go. Right? You can smell the cinnamon in there. It's amazing. Oh, God. All right, we'll take a few little braised lamb nuggets and just throw them on the base of the plate. They're melting as we speak, see that? As you're plating, as you're kind of getting this to look more and more mm -hmm. fantastic, yep. I'm gonna ask you about uh, your Nirvana. Oh my gosh, Nirvana food, food and wine. And wine festival, it's coming up in April. I can't wait. What can people expect? Five day culinary ma marathon. We're bringing the best together in food and wine from all over the country. Yeah. Chefs like Mark Murphy, Robert Irvine, Scott Conant, Todd English. All of our friends. Some of the best winemakers come into this thing. It is gonna be an epic marathon. Just go to food and, uh, nirvanafoodandwine.com and you can have everything you want to see and all the information tickets are on sale now, April 24th through the 28th. It's gonna Sounds be amazing. epic. And it's gonna be worth every be single epic. second. And this Watching is any this indication. Cook, yes, man. Look at yes. It. And you know what, we're about to Spring eat this time. really quick. Yes. But can I just also what? say huge congratulations for your twins on the way? Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> It's 100% my wife's fault. She just can't keep her hands off me. <laughs> yeah. well, when you it's cook amazing. like this. Yeah. 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 Just so you know, on, twins though. rock. I'm an yes. identical He's twin. Nice. And twins are the best. That's what I got. Twin identical boys coming. Yeah. Oh, Thank you guys oh, for having me. Congratulations. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, guys. Love you. Love you. Everybody. Oh, Love you. Oh, oh, and you can Thank connect you, with Bo on his social media as well. Dig in, Deb. So good.